Well, my name is Erwin B. Benedict Bullhead. I'm an enrolled member of what they call the Standing Rock Reservation. Right? Now, now, while you're at it, you need to find a center. Okay. You need to find a center. I've been a teacher now for since I was 19 years old. Okay. I wanted to know where this all began. Often wondered, you know, why there's certain things that we have to practice on the drum that are still carried on. It's a little bit too much, isn't it? You want to make sure those go in first. So those who understand the ways of the drum, you know, they'll find protection. They'll find faith. The songs that we sing are on that drum are in our language. Are in our composed by our relatives, our forefathers. So it's important to remember those things. So it's a study. Where does that song come from? Who composed that song? Let's not forget, you know. There's got to be some honor in it. it could go better. down just a little bit. Can we get closer on this line? Yeah. yeah. It's like a friend, you know, like a buddy that you have to take care of. So I develop this bond with it. Cautious about its relationship with the thunder. So you don't want no metal in there. And so you, you will become what they call a drum keeper. As a singer, they call it a hoha, keeper of songs. The thing to do now is get as much of that middle part sanded down outside. That belt sander, yeah. Being that caretaker and that drum keeper, it's an awesome responsibility. You gotta be prepared for everything with the song. Naming songs, giveaway songs, thank you songs, you know, morning songs, closing songs, flag songs, different types, veteran songs. You have to be knowledgeable about the songs that you sing. I stayed 39 years old for six years because I didn't want to get old. And after I learned the word for chala, which chala means to uh, be knowledgeable, wisdom. Chala is a blossom. So when I accepted that, come on, bring it in. I started living my age. I was the first certified language teacher in North Dakota. And it worked out beautifully. So that's all I do is teach kids the language through songs. I listen to my uncle's advice, and I'm at that age now. He said, whenever people ask you to do something for you, they're depending on you. And so you do your best. Because there's a come a time when you get uh, old and you can't do those anymore. You'll know in your heart and your mind that you've always done your best. You just go through that way and snug it up. Make sure that sticks up. But just snug it, don't tighten it. I am uh, 72 years old. Every time. Every song I ever sang, I can hear my best.